Hey everybody, Sports Live in the ATL here on this Saturday. I, I, love, I, I do love this time of year, folks. I definitely do. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you're knowing all the uh, amazing content uh, pops up onto your YouTube. Uh, again, some updates. I will be live streaming uh, tomorrow's Falcons-Washington uh, game at 1 o'clock. Haven't really interacted with any Washington. I know Big Simple and Awesomeness Sports. Uh, good luck, y'all. Uh, it's a game that Falcons should win. You know, I really believe that. I, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, it just depends on which team shows up uh, for the Falcons uh, tomorrow. Can Desmond Ritter put back to back? But I'll talk about that at another time. Probably tomorrow. Probably maybe, maybe tonight when I get back in from what I'm doing. Uh, I'm still having a hard time grasping uh, the way the Atlanta Braves season ended. Uh, I've come across some Braves fans, you know, yesterday. Well, the Braves had a good year. They fought hard. You know, they gave us a lot of excitement. I, I told this woman yesterday, she's over, you know, coming in and we're talking and she's like, well, the Braves had a had an amazing season. I was like, I looked at her, I said, what way? It's almost like a shocker. I'm like, what way? What is amazing about putting up all these records, expecting us to contend for a World Series, get into the NLDS and get beat the hell out? And very mediocre faction as far as the Braves' performance. The Braves' performance in the NLDS was just borderline atrocious. Uh, I told her, I was like, what? what? What is there to be happy about? And I told it to a couple other people yesterday, and all of a sudden their, their level went down. I'm like, I don't care if you're on a YouTube. I don't care if you're face-to-face -face with me. You're not going to tell me that I should uh, be uh, happy and appreciative of this debacle that was the Brave season of 2023. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Everything that we did meant nothing. Sweeping the Yankees meant nothing. Beating the Phillies in the regular season series meant nothing. Clinching the division in Philadelphia meant nothing. Beating the hell out of the Mets meant nothing. You know, 104 wins, nothing. Tied a major league record in homers, 307 in homers, nothing. Spencer Striders, 20 wins, nothing. 4070, nothing. The only thing I care about as a sports fan and have been for many years is winning rings. Early in my life, in my 20s and 30s, okay. But when I get my teams who consistently make the playoffs, like the Braves, throughout their history, I want a World Series every year, especially if you put a team together that should win a World Series. Now I know how Dodger fans feel. You know, the Falcons for years have gone to the playoffs, failed. Hawks, failed. Thank God Georgia's back-to-back. -back. You know, my hockey team, Calgary, used to be in the playoffs a lot. Now they can't seem to make it. Calgary Stampeders in the CFL make the playoffs a lot. Fail. I want championships. So there's nothing about this year that I'm going to, I look back on and say, oh, well, uh, uh, we had a fabulous year, Gipper. We'll get them back next year. We'll do the whole gung-ho try. No, absolutely not. There are Braves fans out there that may be able to brush this off and be like, okay, well, we had a bunch of nice guys. And we'll try it next year. Nice, uh, real talk, nice guys, nice players, as, as equated to real life, you come in last. Have you noticed, if you're a nice guy in the, in the real world with women, you come in last. You don't get the woman you want. I, however, am not a nice guy. Okay? I'm adaptable, but I'm not a nice guy. I mean, I'm a nice guy in certain aspects. You know, you respect me, I respect you. But I'm not a nice guy. Same as the uh, the, the the Braves. They're a bunch of nice people. The Phillies, they're not nice. Look at, look at their fans. Their fans translate to their team. They're annoying, loud, arrogant, obnoxious. Bryce Harper, loud, annoying, obnoxious. Nick Castellanos. Just looking at him is obnoxious. But where are they in the NLCS again with a chance to go to the World Series? Where are the Braves? The Braves are that beta, that beta male that gets nothing in the end. I am no beta. No, I'm an alpha. I am no beta. Nobody's going to walk over me 
And I expect my teams to not be walked over. So this season was a complete, utter failure. Braves fans have their own opinion. I got Braves fans in my comments saying that I need to do this. I should know. I ain't got to look at nothing. I'm not looking at nothing positive. I mean, some of, my, some of the fans in this fan base are just so delusional and so nice. So nice. I don't want nice. I want rings. The badasses are the ones that get. The nice asses are the ones who don't. They're watchers. I'm a doer. I'm a go-getter. I expect my teams to do and go get. So now we're sitting here watching another team in our division in the NLCS. You know, As much as I don't like it, I got respect for that. Because the Phillies did what the Braves were not able to do. The Phillies all year long... Watched us with the best record in baseball, dominate the East, beat them in the season series, clinch them, clinch our division in their house. And they said, okay, I'm going to let you have this. But when it matters most, we're going to take it out of your soul. And they did. It's kind of like the guys in the real world. When you're nice, the woman that you want doesn't give it to you. And then she gives it to somebody else and it takes your soul. Well, you ain't taking my soul. I want to win. I want championships. In my opinion, will never change. The Braves this year are failures. The season was a complete waste of time. There is nothing exciting about the year that I'm going to look back on. Like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell, and I'll see you Sunday for the Washington, the Commanders, the Redskins, the football team against the Falcons. And I'll talk about it later. Have a good one.